has taken over. And while it offers a great deal of variety to many people, they feel that it's really killed off the local screen. But as in every good film, a hero rides into the rescue. Steve Silk reports. As if you haven't noticed, cinemas have been changing. They've been getting a little glitzier. They've been offering more in the way of food and drink. And most importantly, they've been getting bigger. This one here in Norwich has 14 screens. Just a few months ago, another one opened on the other side of the city with eight. Multiplexes, you might have thought, were the future. Old fashioned cinemas, you might have supposed, were history which is where this building in Fakenham comes as a bit of a surprise. The North Norfolk market town followed a predictable plot when the cinema closed its doors for the last time in 1976. But just a few weeks ago, there was a twist in the tale. The Fakenham Central was reopening. A town of just seven and a half thousand people was getting its cinema back well worth all the fuss and all the glamour. Well, I think the cinema's just dreamy. I hope you do too, honey. I'm out of Wow. And it's not the only one. Deerham has just 15,000 people. Surely it's Cinema 2 couldn't survive. Well, it nearly disappeared many times, but in 1992 it reopened under new owners. Great Yarmouth has a much larger population, plus a huge influx of tourists. In the old days, it used to have an amazing seven cinemas. Some of the buildings survive, including the Empire, and further along Marine Parade, the Windmill. Now though, there's just one. Reopened in 1993, but upgraded from two to four screens. Finally, Lowestoft. Population 58,000, also popular with the holiday makers, but still only one cinema. And this one used to be a theatre and then a bingo hall before closing down completely. It reopened again in 1989. The common factor is this man, Trevor Wicks, boss of Hollywood cinemas. Company motto, bring the big screen to small towns, but he had a job on his hands when he first walked into this place. The rain was pouring in, the place was just absolutely tatty. It had been like this for the last two years when the bingo closed and I walked through the front doors, um, through the puddles basically in the carpet and it looked an absolute mess and I must admit it took a, what, nearly a year to persuade myself that this was worth doing. He's been helped though by a national trend. Cinema viewing peaked back in 1946 when an amazing 1,600 million people visited the box office. By 1960 that had shrunk to 500 million. In 1984 it was down to a miserable 54 million before starting a partial recovery throughout the rest of the century. And last year, admissions were up yet again. Despite TV, despite video, and despite computer games, it seems we still can't get enough of the big screen. It's all something of a surprise for Betty Mays and her son Keith. Betty ran the Fakenham Cinema with her late husband George for decades. Keith was born here. Yeah, that was my playground. This was all my mates used to come in here and uh, we'd mess about in here and then as uh, long as we didn't do any damage we was okay. But uh, if things started to get a little bit hectic, my dad would come down and say, right, outside and uh, we'd all have to leg it then. Because <laughs> when he spoke, that was it. <laughs> well, the ticket machine was here and then however many you want it, you should just press one, two, uh, up to five, I think it was. and. Uh, that's how it was done. But it was very nice <coughs> when we to see the nice coups we used to have right round the cinema. In the old days, there was a cinema in almost every town. Norfolk alone had 70, as this book makes clear. So will it be a case of back to the future? I think you're looking at a population of um, five to 6,000 upwards and a catchment area of at least 20,000. There's a few towns in Norfolk, Suffolk and Cambridgeshire we're looking at um, with populations over 10,000. They may well be worth doing, it all depends if the figures add up. If uh, a town has their own old cinema still standing, then there's a chance it can be converted. Time will tell. In the meantime, Fakenham Central, the sequel, is pulling in plenty of nostalgic punters. That's got character, you know, it's, you know, it's just... You can feel it when you walk in the place, you know, there's something about it that just gives you that 
warm feeling when you when you walked in, and that always did. 